give you all the glory to God for the privilege of being alive this one more day. And I welcome you to another wonderful episode of Touched by Faith. My name is Olufunke Owu. As it is our custom on this show, we don't do anything until we listen to the word of God. And as the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says, The word of God is living and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of the souls and spirits, and of joints and marrow. And it is a discerner of thoughts and the intent of the heart. Let's listen to the word of God by our Father in the Lord, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, and we will be right back. Unable to sleep? God wants to speak with you. Tune into Redeemer's Network Television. Redeemer's Network Television. Pastor E.A. Adeboye, Redeeming the Time. All of you are listening to me today that you are still breathing. In the name that's above every other name, you will be made whole. Amen. Because the Bible says, let all that has breath praise the Lord. Now, it's not only that. What about eyes? I've already told you that when he sees the blind, he will open their eyes. When he sees the deaf, he will open their ears. The dumb, he will open their mouth. With that hand, will be made whole. Weak legs will receive strength. But there's something wonderful about the fact that he made eyes. Psalm 94, verse 9. Psalm 94, verse 9. He said... He who formed the eyes, will he not see? Oh, you say, well, that's talking about him seeing. That's, that's important. Until you see the wonders of the fact that he formed eyes. In Second Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9, Second Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9, it says, the one who formed the eyes, huh? his own eyes are running to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on your behalf. He sees ahead of your enemies. Your enemies can only walk. The Bible says your adversary, the devil, like a running lion, is walking about. But the eyes of the almighty God is running to and fro. And when somebody is walking and another is running, the one who is running will arrive first. Because he formed the eyes. Long before you get to the trap that the enemy has set for you, he will take care of the situation. What about the ears? I've told you if you are deaf, he will open your deaf ears so that you can hear the word of God. But there's an additional thing there. And that is found in Psalm 94, verse 9. The same Psalm 94, verse 9. He said, he is the one who planted the ears. And so he can hear. As a, reason of, as a result of that one, in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, Jeremiah 33, verse 3, he said, if you call on me in the day of trouble, I will answer you. He will hear. Your prayers tonight. Amen. When you read Mark chapter 10, from verse 46 to 52, Mark 10, 46 to 52, do you know there was a beggar by the roadside? And there was a great multitude following Jesus Christ. And a lot of multitude means that a lot of noise. Because all these people, are, I mean, nobody told them to keep quiet. So they were, they were as noisy as they could be. And the beggar cried. And the Lord heard him. 
I'm encouraging you tonight. God is going to hear your prayer. Amen. Tonight is the night for your healing. Amen. If you cry unto him, he's going to hear. And when he hears, he will answer. He will answer. He said, not only will I answer, he said, I will show you great and mighty things that you have never seen before. They are wonders waiting for you. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet, there are wonders about to happen because he made you for his pleasure. That's why any part of your body that is not functioning well will receive a correcting touch from him today. Amen. The Redeemed Christian Church of God, a global church. more information, visit us at www.redeemersnetwork.tv. Welcome back. I am definitely sure that we have been blessed by the word that has come to us through our Father in the Lord. Yes, our Father in the Lord, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adebue. So last week we started with the testimony of the Ajiboyes, the couple that had to wait for almost 12 years before having their first child. Today we'll be listening to the concluding part of that testimony. Don't go anywhere because I'm sure that this testimony is going to encourage you one more time. I didn't have friends toward because of advice of others, but I made up my mind. You said I would be fruitful. So I don't any I don't allow anything to discourage me in the things of God, anything. But I didn't know that after my husband told me that he saw mommy uh, when he went to mommy uh, our zona pastor's uh, program. When he came back, he told me that mommy prayed for me today. Mommy is not half of I said, ah, okay. Mommy pray for you today. Let's me let's do let's do what that mommy has prayed for. I said I'm tired. I said, don't tired though. But when I calculated the date, exactly the date that mommy prayed for me. And I, well, I thought, me, as usual, I've made up my mind, I'm off my mind of that. December 30th, something I said, I should go and check, I should go and test. And I tested. If I went to me, Monday to uh, go and fishing, see no pastor just come and cross me. Ah, Mama Beji. I said, Daddy, I didn't like it. You open the wound, wound that I've already covered. I don't want anybody, when you are playing with me, I don't want anybody to say anything about the children or no children. It has, it's a, just like as if the, the wound that already covered the hook on it. So I didn't like it. This Baba will not allow me to flow this and go out to see something. And that's what come. And I only to me. I didn't know that I've already pregnant since November. When I tested that, that yeah, you are him, November 20. Ah. I said, November 20. I told my husband, I said, Let, let's be looking at this now. I didn't go to hospital to be sincere. I said, when it's three months, when the pregnant come out, I said, I will know. And when it's three months, I said, ah, this is cool. We went to the hospital. They tested, they said that the baby is okay. 
babies. I said, I didn't the, 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 the doctor said that we have feel this is all this way. I said, ah. I mean, my husband's house and I'm attending well, all the regular something that supports your leg. Yeah, I attend, they attended. I didn't plan for it, so that that is God for you. So, after it, we discover that there's no sign of the baby yeah, in the room. Nothing and nothing is happening. And uh, now I feel like crying. I said, the girl who put the baby there knows that the baby cannot go anywhere. They have to come to this world as a complete baby. And as God will have his way, before that night, we pray and the baby show up again. And uh, it has been in our mind that this one can be the mirror of God. Because uh, before this one stay, we are facing a lot of things, and devil cannot just come again and tamper with this seed that God himself has put here. And uh, God is faithful. Even at the delivery, devil tried, but God disappoints. Even the doctor that was there to my wife, uh, he truck crossed the road, and for almost three hours, the doctor cannot move an inch. You need to trek like almost one hour. Imagine a doctor trekking one hour. He said he has, he has complained that the thing he cannot, maybe this thing cannot possibly to the And he already, your mother has already on the bed. But he said he doesn't know what happened. He just said, if I will not be able to work, I will do this one. And he came back, he came back from his car and he trekked for almost one hour in traffic. With this peaceful night. Okay, I said, ah, God really loves you, these people. That uh, he has never done this kind of service before. Maybe they have suspended it. So, God is, is a wonderful God and it's, it's good to have hope in God, to have trust in God, and uh, to follow His way because. What he promised, he will surely do it. If God is delaying something, he has a reason for it. And the way he will bring it out is not your business, it's a business of God. So I really, we really appreciate God and our daddy and mommy and all the men of God mm. who have interceding, mm. praying with us, uh, encouraging us. In one way or the other, and uh, at last, God glorify Himself. Hello, everyone. My name is Nefemi Ajubu, and I'm also like a daughter to her daddy. And before Iyanolua came, I've always been the only one at home. So during the holiday, I, my mom always calls my friends to come and stay with me. So I not feel bad at home. But when he finally came, everyone was happy. Finally found someone to be playing with when I'm at home. And the glory of God is growing. It's not as if something is wrong with him. He's working with the stage. He's not even missing any stage. In fact, he didn't even want to crawl before we had to start working. Then we're like, <laughs> you have to crawl before you walk. If you don't call, you're not able to walk. Now everything in the house is dragging it. We will get everything is going to thank you for that. Hello everyone, my name is Akpochi Deborah. I'm like a family friend to this family. So the glory of God, it came and everything was, you know, peaceful. The day he arrived to the earth, I don't even know what to do. Is it for me to cry? Is it for me to roll? Is it, I, I, I was just crying. Like it was tears of joy that day. The day was wonderful. The day was super. It was glorious. I just want to thank God for everything He has done. He has really did a wonderful job because Godin is a wonderful baby to this family. I'm a really very loved father in Jesus' name. My name is Omofe James. 
I'm, I'm like a brother to Mommy Godwin. Um, before Godwin came, a lot of things happened, challenges here and there. You know, at times I'll just come home, she'll be crying. At times I'll come home, she'll be thinking, the day this glorious thing is going to happen. You know, I was at home. It was a, a glorious Sunday like that, a wonderful Sunday. Daddy called me that. Hello, James, where are you? I said, ah, I'm at home, okay? He just hung up the call. After some minutes, he called me again. Hello, James, okay? He spoke Yoruba. Me on Rachel, me on Rachel, me on Rachel, and tell TV more. Oh my God, I was shouting, I was shouting to the end that even many people, our neighbors, around me, what is going on? I said, this mommy is my sister, she has given birth to Like everybody was just shouting. So when I got to the hospital, I was I was just crying. And I give every glory to God. And I'm praying that everybody that is believing God for the fruit of the name, that Almighty God should just perform miracles and wonders in their life in the name of Jesus. You can imagine when you are attending the naming ceremony of a friend and you are not, uh, you don't have one. You attended the first one. Then another, before you know it, another one came after five years and you are still there. So how will you feel if not uh, really a pastor who has uh, decided to anchor his faith in God? So it wasn't something easy. It wasn't. He is really, I must give it to mommy also. Let me mention that briefly. I must give it to mommy also. She's a woman of faith. She's a woman of faith. Oh, she's wonderful. I, I just pray that uh, those who are seeking for uh, a woman, hands a marriage or a lady, God should give them such a wife that will be able to withstand the storm of life. She's a wonderful woman. Praise God for them. I bless God for them. Yoruba normally say one thing that when you are in problem, you are not wise as a woman. That's why I said I didn't have friends then. Because advice that people are giving to me then led me to put myself that if I didn't give it, I'll make heaven. If you are asking from uh, uh, friends that have said that if you go to Baba or something, they will just make uh, calabash. I said, if you make calabash for me and eat inside the calabash, where am I taking it to? Now, now will not allow me to do that. And um, me too, it's even against my salvation. If God can do it for those people that, that carry their baby during the August and dance, I too I will dance. Except for me to go and go to Baba, tell and say laughing, and collect one thing on bath after some time. The thing we went off. What would not be my joy? Now, in young like this, when you feel pain like this, I said, you need a lua lulu kwe. So, God will take care of you. And that's it. The last year that I night, that's, that's 2019, August, when everybody were carrying their babies, I told my husband, should I go and join them? He said, your feet carry it. So I will go and dance. I danced where I was. People were looking at me. Although, if I, if I see that I'm, when, I, when I was dancing, when I see that I'm looking at me too much, I would dance to another side. When I see you are looking at me, that this one's dancing is not carny baby, I will still move to another side. When Baba bless everybody, I say, hey, Amen. And I came back. People believe that the regular meditation cannot produce baby. The regular meditation produces baby. When God ready to do something, the availability of us that we need it. You don't need our ability at all. You didn't need our ability, ability, uh, ability uh, something. He will just do it. At times when I look at him, I will look at him and say that, ah, it's as if God just dropped you in my womb. Six, when, it, when, she, when the clock is six, years, six months, when we, uh, the doctor will say that he wants to see the baby. We, we took him to the hospital and said that, ah, you are not being here, sister. I said, nothing happened to the baby. Because his name is heritage, so I'm not the just just put in my cost uh, or uh, put it in, in our custody to take care of him for him. Because all things are possible, and there's nothing impossible about God. So the miracle that God has done, 
as uh, the college was in lots and uh, in faith that uh, with God all things are possible. And when you are being in league, God is not denying it. God is not denying it. just putting everything to work together. All the way and because of that, we, we make the foundations for on behalf of the Indian, for every domestic believe in God for the fruits of the day. We encourage them, we don't need to run a stand for that. We should stay with God. And uh, God know how we do the work it out. Uh, and because of that, we have been being our personal responsibility to so families, we need to go for the food of the day. Many can assist, they assist. And we call them with the word of God a prayer that the only God that can do to that thing. Maybe it's uh, medical attention, but yes, God has the final say. God has the final say. Like I used to tell them, when they ask me to come and do another test, I don't do any first thing. God will test me and will put me in order. And then I will do it. This uh, child bearing something made me to know that God is wonderful. It's wonderful. And as many that are trusting the Lord for the fruit of womb, the Lord will remember them in the name of Jesus. As I ask mercy on my family. You have mercy on them too. I have mercy upon their womb in Jesus' name. Wow, I am so sure that you have been blessed by that testimony. When the scripture when the scripture tells us that none shall be barren in the land, God actually meant it. And we thank God for the fruitfulness that has taken place in the life of the Ajibwes. If you gave your life to Christ while our Father in the Lord was ministering, and you will love him to keep you in his prayers, please kindly visit www.redeemersnetwork.tv, click on decision form, and please put in everything that is required. Do you have testimonies and comments that you would love to share with us? Follow us on all our social media platforms displayed on your screen right now. For those trusting God for the fruit of the womb, every first Monday of the month is the time for you to meet with our Father in the Lord at the Redemption Camp. The program is called Shiloh Hour. Till so we come your way again, I remain Olufunke Owu, and remember, Jesus is Lord. Network Television.